Hi, uh, welcome to this presentation about D3 correction in EFT. Um, first, I would like to present some concepts that are uh, useful or at least a kind of introduction about a uh, density functional theory. And let's uh, recall that the information of a system is contained in, in the wave function. So we need to solve the Schrodinger equation. And for that, we use approximations to find an estimated solution. For instance, the bohr oppenheimer approximation or, or the half triple method, etc. So in general, the energy terms are divided in three parts, the kinetic energy, the attraction between nuclei and electrons, and the electron-electron repulsion, of course, after bohr oppenheimer approximation. This electron-electron repulsion can be divided according to the Hartree-Fock theory, can be divided in column, column and exchange parts, including correlation in, in these terms. So the, the, and also the K of the Konishan theory, that is the base for DFT, is the splitting of the kinetic energy functional in two parts, assuming non-interacting electrons. In that, in that sense, we have this exchange energy that consists of this kinetic energy correlation and this electronic, the, this electron-electron repulsion um, corre correlation or exchange. Um, so in, in DFT, only approximations to the exchange correlation energy functionals, functional are, are needed. And this is the difference between dif the different DFT methods that are available. Um, most of the quantum mechanical electronic structure calculations are now nowadays based on DFT uh, because DFT has extremely good performance cost radio. Nevertheless, there are some challenges such, such as the correct description of dispersion forces. That is what are what we are going to talk about today. The London dispersion forces. Let's. It's our temporary attractive force uh, for uh, are a temporary attractive force that is present between all molecules when the electrons in two adjacent atoms occupy positions that make the atoms for temporary dipoles. It is a weak, the weakest intermolecular force. Also, is a time independent phenomenon, so we have stationary electronic states, and since the constant motion of electrons cause this temporarily instantaneous dipoles. Of course, larger and heavier, heavier atoms exhibit stronger dispersion forces than smaller and lighter ones. These dispersion forces are part of the van der Waals energy, and it's given by the C6 over R6 dependence of the interaction distance. It is at, at long distances, we they, can, they are the attractive part of a typical Leonard Jones potential, but at a smaller uh, or a short medium distances, it becomes part of the normal correlation energy, as we can see here. So this is the part of the London dispersion, and this it becomes part of the dispersion color correlation energy. And then we are going to talk about the D3 correction, where we have the classic D3 and the um, Beck and Johnson uh, damping models. So why is the standard DFT wrong? The, the problem is that standard methods miss these long range dispersion energy, these London forces. Some functionals provide just a purely repulsive interaction between rare gas atoms and not this attraction at long distances. Also, there are functionals that under correlate at intermediate or short distance because of charge penetration effects and the parametrization against experimental data that included dispersion bound species. And it is important to consider that this is a cumulative interaction. So it becomes increasingly important as the system gets larger. As we can see here that this is one of the works of, um, of um, one of the words that uh, of Grime, in where these the three correction were described, 
and we can see that the that as the molecular size increased so the dispersion or the deviation between experimental and um, theoretical values increased so we have here this a c6 based dispersion correction methods method that is the dft d3 so Grime proposed to include the dispersion by, by adding empirical terms in the form of this equation, where the term CAB denotes the n order dispersion coefficient, 6, 8, 10, for atom pair. RAB is the internuclear distance, and this SN factor is just to adjust the correction to the repulsive behavior of the exchange correlation density functional chosen. The first models just included an R-6 energy term for each atom pair with this atom dependency 6 parameter. But further improvements include also the R-8 and the R-10 terms. So we have a better description of this medium range dispersion. And these methods are called D, D2 or D3 after the, the D3 acronym after the Deshina functional theory cramming, sorry, I had a mistake here. And, but adding the, these attractive energy terms could cause a divergence for the short interatomic distances. Thus, the Grimes-D3 correction is often used in a connection with a damping scheme. This damping function determines the short range behavior of the dispersion correction. There are several forms of damping function we generally approach to zero when this uh, radius approaches to zero. Like we can see here, we have for the, the undamped, the, that without this damping function, we have the, this classical or this um, general damping functions where approach to zero when the, the distance approaches to zero. And also then we have this Becky and Johnson um, damping scheme that is a more rational damping and leads to a constant contribution of the energy of dispersion to the total correlation energy from each atom pair. That is this profile that gets to a constant value. This Becky-Johnson damping function has the, the, this form. Uh, it considers the, the distance and it considers also the CEN uh, term. And, uh, for the, and also, I think it's important to mention that there are other dispersion correction methods which are not part of this uh, presentation because this presentation was about a specific LAD tree that is the one that we use in our uh, quantum mechanical uh, calculations. And we can summarize this, that these are, for instance, there are some uh, density-based um, um, methods affecting one electron potential methods. And then we have the C6 based methods that is the DFTD uh, correction methods. And uh, there are some references of this uh, presentation and thank you.